Hey guys, so I am going to be doing a ring pour today. Um, we'll see how it does. Uh, I'm trying to get a similar effect to a previous one, but I'm not sure if that will happen. So I have my white. I have cobalt blue mixed with white. I have my gold. Payne's gray. Bright aqua green mixed with white. And I'm debating on whether or not to use the fluorescent violet. <coughs> uh, so we'll see how it goes. At first, let's uh, put the white in the cup. Probably a little too much there. There we go. I'm gonna try and use more white than I am the colors because I do want a muted effect. My paints are mixed, two parts Floetrol to one part paint and no water. So they are a bit thick. I think I'll put a little bit of the violet in there. I have this one light that goes off and on. Drives me nuts actually two lights that do that but right now it's just this one to get some rain today which will be nice and it's going to cool off the rest of the week which uh it's been so hot here i live north of the city north of boston and i'll tell you i think i was with everybody else in the country boiling hot all week So I'm going to end right there. This is my cup. You can see all my layers. I'm going to move these out of the way. And then we'll get right down to the pour. Um, this is a 20 by 20 canvas. And it has one and a half inch sides. I've already coated it with uh, white paint to help everything move. So we're gonna see how this does. Just gonna rinse off my spatula. Okay. Well, let's give the canvas a torch. There's not much in air bubbles on here, but There's a random hair, probably from my sweater. <laughs> okay.
So we're not gonna really see how muted it is until we get it to the edges or spreading it out. It looks really muted in here, but I like the colors in here. So we're gonna start by tilting the canvas in a circular motion to widen the bands of the ring pour. Let's see how much I can not get on me. And the canvas has gotten heavy. So let's take a look at this here. Bring it back to center. All right, so I'm loving what's going on here and I like what's going on here. Now to try to keep that area, um, that's, that's another mission all in itself. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be able to do it. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of white here. And over here to start. All right. Love the rings. The canvas is getting very heavy. I gotta put it down. around it, see what I can see, and I'm not crazy about it. Okay, so what we're going to do is clean me up a little bit. cup, a small one, and put a little bit of white in the bottom. I'm going to do some gold, some of the muted out cobalt blue, and I think I want a little more of the violet to show because it's actually 
really pretty. Now here, where to put it? I'll do it right here. wonder if I'm gonna regret this <laughs> you just gotta sort of just go with it at times and pray for the best but it was lacking more composition so I really wanted to get in here with some other colors so let's let's see if I'm gonna like this I'll stop yelling at your YouTube at the channel the video don't yell don't yell yet. Let's uh, let's wait until it's uh, completed. Clearly you could tell I did not like it. <laughs> A little too much going on there. Too much pink. Hmm, let's see here. Let's modify this one more time.
I'm gonna mix up a quick thing of paint. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> so we're gonna start off with the white. I'm gonna do gold. And this isn't quite Prussian blue anymore. I'm sorry, um, the paint's gray anymore. It's now Prussian blue. So, and my cat is getting into trouble. Okay, I don't want to knock anything over. There's no rhyme or reason or any particular order to pour in. I'm just putting in colors and alternating them as I go. Okay, let's try this. If this isn't gonna work, I'm gonna scrape the canvas all together. It's not producing much of a composition and I really, really want a composition, obviously. With any piece, you would want something. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right in the middle. All right, maybe this will work out better. We're gonna find out. If not, I'm scraping and I'll revisit my canvas tonight when I get home. I'm sort of liking what I'm seeing. Almost got my sweater on that one. <laughs> I'm 
I do love this one. This one is really pretty. I'm just going to get this corner over here. I'm sorry if you can't see it, but I got to tilt it high enough to get the paint moving to the edge. Okay. This is so pretty. Okay. Um, gonna circle around here and take a view of it on another. Get the sides, corners. All right. I don't usually leave my center in the center, but I really, it's not really in the center, so that's okay. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to mess with it any longer. I love this result so much better than the one before, or the two before. Um, let me see here, bring you guys in. I'm very pleased with it. It's very different um, so the we have the pastel colors I'm not sure if you could see it but it's got this gold shimmer across all of them oh hello light thank you for joining us and all the gold here so it's just it's really hard to catch the the floating gold so the gold has a uh, attached itself to the other colors as well. Um, so over here we have rings of different colors, but uh, I can't get the right angle for you to see it. It has, um, it's got a gold shimmer to it. Hi kitty, you want your new paint? As do all of these in here. So, um, this, the Prussian blue, I mixed with the Payne's gray at the last minute in order to get enough paint to get a contrasting color. It ended up almost purple and I think it is so pretty with the gold. It, I did not expect that. Um, not that I go around mixing paints to see what they, colors they would create, but I thought it was really nice. Um, it's like a very deep, um, blue purple and it, it's really pretty so with that being said I wish my light would stop acting up this is the final piece minus the lights and uh, all the gold and that is all for now guys have a great day and thanks for watching.